Hello everyone, I am Victoria and I'm back with June's Pick a Card Tarot Reading from the lovely people at asktheanswer.com. So, before I get on with your reading, what I'd like you to do is try to pick your tarot deck for this month from your intuition just take a few a few quiet moments there to focus on which deck you would like to pick deck number one is the gilded tarot royale deck number two is the art of tarot and deck number three is the crystal visions tarot deck so this one will be reading number one reading number two reading number three for you all today so let's have a look what june has in store for you this coming month and I will give you a few quiet moments now to pick the deck of your choice one two or three Hello there and welcome back to your deck for reading number one for June 2021. So let's get these cards shuffling and these energies going. Oh, we already have a card that flew out of the deck there, so we will save that and read it. So that's card number one today for what's going on for June 2021. Looks like the cards are jumping out of their decks. Eager to give you a message for you all. Nearly. And we'll give it one more shuffle before we have. Let's see what's in store for you all. So we have a Nine of Swords and a Star card. Okay. And the Ace of Wands. This is interesting because I can see here that for June, it looks like to me that you have had a lot on your plate the last well probably this month um the last month which would be may so i feel like with this, you've been very much in the spotlight for the last few months or few weeks okay i do feel like with the nine of swords you need a bit of a break um for a lot of you there's an upcoming project that possibly hasn't started just yet or it could be something that um, you want to get going but hasn't done just yet. But in between these two situations, I feel like you need a bit of relaxation time. Okay. What I'm sensing here is you may be a bit tired, a little bit burnt out. I'm just talking about the energies in between the two periods of time that you probably have been super busy with. OK, so what I'm feeling is you may be burnt out. Your energy may be a little bit low at the beginning of the month. OK, what it is, is that I feel like you're transitioning from one bit into another bit because you're going to be super busy after that rest finishes. And I feel like, you know, that. So upcoming, you have some kind of new project or um, it could be anything from new job, just something that maybe you have wanted to do for a while and haven't um, done it yet. But whatever it is that's in your mind, um, I feel like it's about to start. But you do need to rest up first is what I'm feeling. Or perhaps you need a rest and you haven't had one yet, but that it's like. You've been very busy. You need to rest and then you're going to be busy again. And those are the uh, energies that I'm getting. You have a page of wands in reverse. Queen of wands in reverse. I feel like if you don't have... Again, we've got the energies going up and down. 
so i feel like for some of you with this page of wands in reverse and this won't be for everyone because these are general tarot card readings these could be a lot to do with children for those of you who have children um this could be um page of wands in reverse often young people who um maybe a little bit bored or there's a lot to do with them and they're pushing you okay so young people could be a priority for you at the moment for those that have children but i do feel again if you don't have the significant time where you need a bit of um self-care a bit of me time you could be getting the situation here where you may either um burn yourself out so much that you become a little bit um I'm not going to say anger, but I feel like you may have very little patience with people. But again, I'm feeling like the Eight of Swords is telling me that you need a little bit of space first. What I'm feeling is you, you're you having a lot on your plate and it's going to be um, one thing after the other. So if you don't rest in between that one thing after the other, we're going to have a little bit where you haven't got the patience. So you must take your rest this month those of you who've chosen plan number one because you are busy and those of you who want to be busy you're going to be very busy so just take that little bit of relaxation time when you can get it this month and this is what i'm feeling i feel like you've got you're going you like rushing around those are the energies i'm getting to seven of cups in reverse yeah now, those of you who don't take this time out are going to realise that you need a break. Okay, so we've got a Seven of Cups reverse next to a Temperance in reverse. All these energies are going very much up and down to me. What you, you you'll be on a high one minute, and then you may be um um I'm not going to say on a low, but I'm going to say you're going to be very high up, and then your energy is going to go down. And this is the shift that I'm seeing all the way through the month, because the whole reading is the same for me. Keep yourself in balance. Keep your feet on the ground because I feel like June is super busy. Um, it could be anything, any projects that you're starting, new jobs, new careers, new things with children. You're just super busy and you'll be juggling a lot over the month of June. You'll be starting projects, I'm feeling as well. For those of you who are waiting to start something, this is when it's going to commence. So get your rest in while you can throughout this month is what I'm feeling. Let's have some Moonology cards here. So you're going to have super busy month for those of you who've chosen reading number one today, super busy, but get your relaxation and your self care, take a little bit of time out for yourself whenever you can grab it. <laughs> We have the Meditate and Contemplate New Moon in Pisces. For those of you who do have your moon in Pisces, this is particularly significant or any Piscean people out there. Okay, so with this new moon in Pisces, I feel like you need, again, it, the card is telling you to meditate and contemplate. So you, I feel like you need to regroup. So if you're super busy, you need to just stop Take some time out for yourself. Meditate and contemplate your next move. What I'm feeling here as well, your intuition might be up with this new moon in Pisces as well. Okay, so you may be feeling things, you know, maybe having some dreams that are coming a little bit true in the daytime. Or you get a sense of something with people or you're picking up on other people's energies. So that could be relevant this month also for you. Are these cards as well what the topic is we have the card of intimacy so don't neglect your relationships as well spend, spend a few moments with your loved ones your partners your better halves so don't neglect them either is what I'm feeling. If you're just super busy, you see, and I can feel that you're going to have a lot on your plate. So, you know, spend time with your family members, spend time with your partners, whoever you have that's important in your life with this card. Some one-to-one -one time, 
spoil them a little bit. And they should spoil you too, because I feel like you're super busy this month. Number one, pile number one. Definitely rest when you can. And that's the reading I've seen for those of you who've chosen reading number one today. Thank you so much for listening to me today. I am Victoria and it has been a pleasure. So take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hello and welcome to your pile. Those of you who've chosen pile number one for today's June 2021. Tarot card. Pick a card tarot card reading. Okay, let's get these cards shuffling and tune into as much energy as I can for you all. Please bear in mind these are general tower card readings. So let's, ooh, we have the same as pile number one where the card just flew out the first card. They just want to get out there today. I want to tell you what's going on for you all. So the reading for June 2021. I'll shuffle two more times. I knew, I knew that King of Swords was coming out as I was shuffling. I saw the King of Swords and I knew it was about to fly out. And we have the Lovers and the King of Swords. Ahem. Hello, what's going on here? Four of Wands in reverse. Okay. <laughs> okay, we have um, the Lovers, the King of Swords, Four of Wands reverse and the King of Pentacles. I do feel like... <laughs> We have a Queen of Cups here as well. Okay, I feel like you've got um, a lot to do with your love life here. Those of you who've chosen this pile. I feel like it's very important to you and your romantic partnerships and your love life are really important during this month. Um, for those of you who are in relationships here, let's get another card. And the world card, you could be traveling somewhere with your other person or you could be meeting people who are from abroad with this world card here now this could be um for those of you who are single you'd like to meet someone so this is a good idea to just broaden your horizons here with this world card this is often a card of travel or often a card of actually expanding your horizons. This could be anything from someone from another country or a different culture or anything like that. So I feel like that could be it. That could be that you're learning about different people as well. And I think you'll find this very interesting this month. Um, you might be also meeting more than one person that catches your eye here. If you're not looking for anyone in particular it could be that you just have this love for what's out there is what i'm feeling i feel like um you may have had a bit of a stressful time here with the four of wands in reverse this could be anything from you wanted to just get away so yeah the four of wands is often when you want to get out of maybe a situation um that's not beneficial to you so i feel like you want to get out there you're you've got like itchy feet and you want to go traveling you want to meet people because we've got a lot of people in this uh this reading going on you want to converse you want to you know i feel like maybe you're a bit bored at home or or you just want to get out there some of you want to meet someone new i mean the lovers was the first card out or for others maybe you want to go traveling with your other half so if you're in relationships or um you just want to expand your horizons this month. You could be a little bit bored of your day-to-day -day life. So you want to get out there and see the world is what I'm feeling. Or make sure your finances are in order if you're going to do that with this King of Pentacles. But I'm sure you will with this King of Pentacles coming out. I do feel like you want, for some of you, it could be just, you know, educating yourself. Well, the King of Swords, King of Swords is usually someone who's often very uh, deep in thought. So I can feel that you have had enough of the mundane life and you just want to get out there, possibly meet new people. Um, 
taking your if you're in a relationship take them along with you as well because i don't think you'll leave them behind but i'm feeling like you want to expand your horizons ten of wands i feel i feel your stress i do because the ten of wands are often about having enough of where you are and that's what i can feel it's like you want to get out of the rut that possibly you you're in um boredom may have set in as well so it's just like you want an escape you just want to get out there you want to travel see the world fresh air green grass that's the energies i am getting here ten of pentacles also for some of you this is interesting the um the ability to get out there might mean somewhere that makes me may make money quite a bit of money here um ten of pentacles is often about possibly you, you might want to stay where you are you know you might want to change your lifestyle entirely um i get the energies that this could be that you're thinking of a permanent thing to leave or you know dreaming perhaps of something living by the sea or living by the ocean or or something like that but something you want is permanent here there's permanency in this reading it's like a lot of you don't <laughs> have the the energies of not coming back you know not coming back to your day-to-day -day life but this is what i'm seeing through june you just want to get out there and live a little and who would blame you who would blame you at all let's have a look what other topics are in this reading here you definitely want to take your loved ones along or you want to maybe meet someone new meet new people get out there talk that's what i'm feeling with this reading i can only tell you what comes out including this one here so if you're feeling that things we have the worthiness card that's come out here. So I'm feeling like you just want to escape your own environment. Have you seen this card? She's looking at her own reflection. So yeah, this could be what you've been doing. This could be that you're looking in the mirror in the morning. You're thinking, oh God, another day of work, another day of the same thing. Um, sort of talking to yourself <laughs> in a way. But yeah, you could be just talking yourself into something but this card is saying you can do this you know if you lack in the confidence or not sure everybody else would be on board or agree maybe you should bring up in a conversation start talking about the fact that maybe you want to get out there perhaps you're thinking of going holiday uh, seeing family traveling a little bit but this is saying yeah you should you know you're worthy to do this might also what I'm feeling is it will bring up your confidence and your self-esteem as well. So this would be good for you is what I'm feeling. I get the energies here that you've been looking at yourself in the mirror. It's like talking yourself into to, to traveling. I get those energies. Perhaps you're saying it's not the right time or yeah, but I feel like it is. Also, you've got a lovely park here as well. So a lot of you love life is most important this month for you. But travel is definitely on the horizon and meeting new people. Getting rid of the stress and the burdens with the Ten of Wands and the Pentacles. Could be a good way to make money as well. Something a bit further out. Let's get a Moonology card. Conclusions. I've never... What a beautiful picture conclusions are within reach a full moon eclipse with this card it's sort of the energies of when one door shuts another one opens okay so i'm feeling like uh, maybe an opportunity you've had has not worked out or maybe somebody said no to you and it hasn't happened so maybe this is the reason why you want to get away from it all but i'm feeling like new opportunities there for you to be had this month for sure it's like you know the you need to grab any good opportunity you can because you don't get 10 pentacles like that it's like could be an, oh, an opportunity to make more money or maybe a job promotion that involves travel here but i can see it here and if you're not going to travel you're definitely dreaming of it or thinking about it um especially during the month so yeah this is a good opportunity to, through the month of june is to grab any opportunities you can that are good that are coming your way 
Okay, thank you so much for listening to the reading today. Um, I am Victoria and thank you so much. Take care and bye bye. Bye bye. Hello and welcome back to those of you who've chosen reading number three today for your June 2021 and what's coming up for you. So let's get the deck shuffled and try to tune into all your energies that I can tune into. Ooh, we have a fallen card which I will read. All three piles have had cards. Their first card all fly out of the deck. It's like <laughs> eager to get a new start. Or oh, eager to get a start. Another one. There you go. <laughs> Flying out of the deck. And another one. We have the star card in reverse. That one jumped up and I saw it straight away. Okay, let's get Devlin reversed, Temperance is reversed, and we have a Queen of Swords also in the reverse. We've got four reversed cards here. Okay, I'm seeing here that you want to leave May's energies behind here. It's like, and move on. So if you've been feeling a little down, with that star card reverse is often so sorry about the dogs um my neighbor's dogs if you've been feeling a little bit low a little bit down a little bit fed up i feel like you need to get rid of any negative energy around you okay what i mean by that is i'm feeling negative people more than ever people that don't People that don't respect you and people that are not in for your best interests, okay, moving forward throughout the month. So people that have held you back is what I can feel, who have not had your best interests at heart. Time to get rid of those negative energy, those negative people. We have another world card. So I feel like things are looking up for you in the next month ahead. Um, let's get another card. Let's have a look. Definitely here. I feel like you're hesitant about something as well. Um, it's like you want to move forward, but possibly a little bit frightened to step foot out because you seem hesitant with the two of pentacles energy here. You may be taking too much on as well or taking two situations to balancing two things. OK, so this could be anything from job and home life. Um, I, I feel like you actually quite like balancing two situations as well. Perhaps it makes you feel like normality has been installed because I can see here with these four cards, something has maybe has left you feeling a little low. It could be the winter. Now we're coming into the summer months. So I feel like you're about to take off. <laughs> We have the six of swords yeah you're about to take off it's like some a lot of you may be traveling okay some of you may i don't know if some of you are moving house or um going visiting relatives or something like that but this is telling me that it's necessary to do this stuff it's like perhaps you've been missing family or you want to see your friends and you haven't done so yeah that's this is a good month to do that in june it's like I feel like you have to do it perhaps to make yourself feel better and to lighten your mood. To lighten your mood. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, I feel like everything you do this month has a purpose. OK, so I feel also the energies that you think about that you're going to think about things very deeply. And whatever you do is going to be for. For you basically so whatever moves you make if you want to go visiting people um if you want to go on holiday make sure that it's for you is what i'm feeling here okay rather than organizing everything for everyone else maybe put yourself first a little bit this month because i can see here you're juggling you're juggling 
situations and you do it very well but sometimes you just need to please yourself and do things for yourself um if you organize anything for anyone make sure it's what you want to do because the judgment card here it's like what you want to do it's like you wake up to what's around you and it's almost like an awakening does that make sense if you've been waiting for this this is the month that's going to happen it's like perhaps you've been a little bit low i feel like you could have been low the last four months or a few weeks or you know maybe something hasn't worked out and left you a little bit low but i'm feeling like this is the month to just grab it and just go with it but make sure you do it for you and that's what i'm feeling here do what's best for you not to please other people you're definitely going somewhere with that chariot card chariot card is often actually when you take action i said take action the chariot card is like you know grabbing every opportunity um grabbing it's like action packed there's a lot gonna go on for you um maybe you think the last few months there hasn't been a lot going on you've gotten a little bit stuck a little bit bored and um, the chariot is a journey usually change of action can actually mean a new car for those of you who are indulging or perhaps you need a new car but this is um a good month to do that throughout the month of june there i feel like you need some fun get out there and have some fun i can feel this month get out in the sun if it's out and it stops raining yeah i feel like take opportunities when they arise for some of you they might make you just grow up <laughs> For others of you, it could be study. It could be study here with this picture. Um, I'm feeling like maybe that's what in your mind you want to hire yourself. You want to go to higher education or education is a big thing this year. Maybe you're taking exams of some kind. It's definitely a good month for this to expand yourself, to expand your knowledge and what's coming forward. But you're definitely traveling somewhere. Sometimes this can be just an energetic journey and not one of actual physical. It can be like a change of lifestyle. You might be working towards a goal. June is a good month to do that. The start of the summer, I always find. I know they say it's May, but it's always raining, isn't it? <laughs> the sunshine comes out and you should be out as well, enjoying it. Moonology deck. A win-win outcome is forecast for moon in Libra. That's good for Librans who have the moon in Libra and also Librans here. But if you're not a Libra, it doesn't matter. It's still good for you as well. This card is all about self-care, self-love, looking after yourself. Um, of course, you've got the scales, so it needs to be getting yourself more balanced, center yourself. And usually, I feel like take the opportunities that are given to you this month i feel like there could be some couple of good ones that you might like to have done that might be offered to you so if they arise just take them i feel like things will be more balanced this month as well with these scales which my eyes are focused on and whatever you do i feel like consider yourself put yourself first for a change is what i'm feeling rather than everybody else which you probably tend to do or have been doing so yeah put yourself first and do what you want to do for the month of june 2021 okay lovelies thank you so much for listening to me today it's been a pleasure and i am victoria and take care bye 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 bye